Okay. Okay, guys. So keeping up with the all signs, you versus um, all signs <laughs> per element. We're gonna look at um, Earth for now. Uh, so again, if you're interested in that three month future predictions read, check out the link in the description box below. Let's get into the reading, starting with Taurus. Uh, if you're dealing with an Aries or if Aries is on your mind, they're feeling for you. Something could up and come to an end with a with an Aries out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. It could be you, it could be them. Um, it could come to an end out of nowhere. And one of you is going to be devastated by it. Taurus. I see going to the next level in this relationship. Yeah, I see taking it to the next level between you and the Taurus. They, someone's prayers are being answered. They're being sent the right person to them. Some of you are going to just be making all kinds of changes. Like you'll get if you are with or will be with another Taurus, you're going to get with them. Things are going to evolve really fast. But you both will be on the same page with the fat, the the, the pace of the relationship. And this has long term potential. Uh, Gemini love you in love with you waiting on you waiting on you for things to improve and get better to some extent so they are still there and they're, they're still there and they're still committed to it leo wait a minute i'll save this um cancer love you or loving you um and coming toward you they may become a little bit possessive or territorial over you that's because they fall in love with you uh leo is also in love with you uh, they kind of may wear their heart on their sleeve but they're going to become more and more comfortable with how they love you and loving you and expressing that love towards you virgo want to come back together and work things out test the waters and go out they may feel like they either want you to value them or they are going to start to value you you more does that make sense <laughs> hopefully i said it right uh but the coming back together there i do feel like deep down they are valuing this a little bit more and they're behaving a lot differently uh because they're seeing it differently and it's like if there was anybody else they really do want you and they realize that libra not coming towards you if they if you hadn't heard from a libra get ready you're gonna hear from them it's gonna come hot they're coming in hot and they're gonna be coming in consistent Scorpio, trying to get away from you because secretly there may be more than just you. Um, they may also have to be focusing on finances and getting that money in order. In order, excuse me. Uh, so there could be that too. But I do feel like um, Scorpios are trying to get away from you or not the most trustworthy right now. They're up to things. Sagittarius, holding back. Um, that's a lot of holding back from the Sagittarius. They may feel like um, they put you on a pedestal. That's for sure. They really do put you on a pedestal, but there may be some power struggles between the two of you. So they may feel like the best way for them to gain control and remain in control is to kind of hold back. Capricorn. Um, thinking about you a lot. And they know. What do they know? <laughs> They know um, that it's that they should give to this and that they want to give to it. They may their ego um, or the fact that you're not letting them back in may be the reality, so they have to kind of accept it. Um, other than that, I do see a Capricorn really want this to work. They really do. But if you're not open to it, they'll follow your lead. If that makes sense, if, depending on how you're coming across, they they will continue or they'll pull back. Aquarius. At a crossroads, they'll mate with you, waiting on you um, to come rescue them from the land of the lost. Um, still waiting on you, but are at the same time pissed and probably have a little resentment towards you. Aquarius, well, like Aquarius, right? Yeah. Pisces, moving on from the situation or wanting to get in a better place with you. It's all about getting in a better place with you, even though deep down inside they don't trust you. So this is a toxic bond that um, might get better down the line. It may have an opportunity to get better down the line. Um, but yeah, they want to get in a better place. It may be easier said than done. That's what I have for Taurus. Health. Now let's look at Virgo. Okay, Virgo, let's get straight into it. Aries. Communicating, a lot of communication. This is an Aries that either is with you and is yours to have or will can be yours to have. Um, but they're their own person, so, you know, it depends on 
how you show up, Taurus. They're locking it down. If a Taurus wants you, they do want you. If the two of you are make, uh, giving us a second chance, Taurus is serious about this, Virgo, so don't mess it up, I guess. They're serious. They want to lock this down. They're prepared to move on from any issues and problems that the two of you have had. Like, they're kind of serious about the situation right here. Gemini. Gemini is all of a sudden going to feel like this situation is... For some of you, they may feel like this is a burden. Others of you, they may just up and move closer to you. Move away from you or move closer to you. But something about this may feel burdensome to them. Um, so they could find themselves running hot and cold, Virgo. And if they do, it's because of those things. Cancer. Not commu If they wasn't reaching out before, they will. Or they want to. But they may just be too much strife. Like the two of you don't get along. There may be too many other people involved. Um, but they do still care about you. And they know you care about them. Leo. You are more than what they could want. They really put you on a pedestal, and I do feel like they miss you and they want you back, or they want to see you. They just miss you. So um, if they can get to you, they will be. Um, this is for, this is for, who is this for, Virgo? <laughs> okay. Um, and who did I just talk about? Leo. <laughs> also, Virgo. Love you. Love, 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 love you. You could be aggravating, though. Something about, you know, I mean, it's a Virgo to a Virgo. <laughs> so you could be aggravating to them, but they love you nonetheless. Even if it's over. No matter, even if, if you two are together or if it's over, they do still love you big time. Libra. Thinking about you. Um, heartbroken over the disconnect. I'm wanting to get back together. There's a possibility if you want a Libra back, they want you back too. The only caveat is one of you could be in a relationship at this time. So that may make it extra hard to get over. Otherwise, they kind of still want this back in to work it out. Scorpio. Crossroads. Not sure if they want to cut you out for good or give you another chance. Um, but yeah, at this time, they may not be communicating and they're pretty pissed. Sagittarius. Sagittarius, feeling for Virgo, they're going to sit back and wait for you to come their way. But in the meantime, um, they could yeah, they could reach out to you. If they don't hear from you by August, they could reach out to you. They could also be focusing on other things in their life as well. But they do put you kind of on a pedestal, Capricorn. Oh, great. They want you. They love you. They want all of it. They, they're here. They're devoted. This is a great card to get in any relationship because the person is very devoted to you. They're devoted, they can be counted on, they're reliable, that sort of thing. So um, Capricorns want this to be everything can be, like marriage, all those things. I feel like um, Sagittarius does too, but they may get preoccupied with a lot of other things. They're like <laughs> uh, Aquarius. Care deeply for you. Um, wait a minute, is this for Taurus? What's this for? Virgo, sorry. Um, I meant to say Virgo. Capricorn, that's for Virgo, so don't worry about it. I'm sorry, Virgo. The Capricorn portion was for you, not Taurus, okay? Um, Aquarius. Aquarius uh, cares a lot about you, Virgo. Cares a lot about you, okay? Um, and they're very committed and they're very loyal to you. But the two of you are very much independent too. And two of you just may not be the most trusting people. Or, <laughs> so you always side-eye in the situation. And there could be a waiting on one of the other to kind of move the relationship forward. Pisces. Loving you, wanting to apologize, wanting to work things out. They love you like crazy, especially if a Virgo man. This Pisces woman, she loves you um, like crazy. Like she really does love you, but she may need to always be in control. Um, or there's a lot of holding back, but there's still a lot of love there for you. She also can con confuse the hell out of you too. That's what I have for Virgos. Now let's get Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn, let's go. So Capricorn, Aries. Communication picking up. They they see you as the one. This is, this is an Aries that can marry you or can see marriage with you. Or want to have your kid or want, want you to have theirs. Taurus. They're coming to you. They're coming to you. They're coming towards you. They can't wait anymore. They're coming at you. About what? 
why you haven't been responding to them or they may if they haven't been responding to you they expect you to come to them um but but if they don't hear from you they're not gonna wait they're gonna come at you and address why they haven't heard from you gemini they care about you um but they're not so sure if they love you like they're not so sure about their feelings but they also can't let you go it's very strange maybe it's that eighth house stuff you are in their eighth house um cancer no they they stick over you they're not happy at all whatever the hell the two of you are they're just not happy cancers could be going through something personal in their own personal life that has nothing to do with you and it's just very aggravating so you may not be hearing from them but if it has to do with you they're sad about the disconnect between the two of you and it's spilling over in other areas of their life leo all right hold on disconnected um heartbroken over the separation or the breakup because they love you a lot virgos um they change so either they're going to be hard as hard as nails like you can't even get through to them you can't reason with them nothing that may be how they see you um or they've changed and now they want to step up and be the real with you and be the one for you or they want you to be that for them libra Can't stop thinking about you. I don't give a damn if you haven't heard from them in 10 years. They've still been thinking about you. <laughs> uh, Scorpio. Holding back. But wanting to start it again or wanting it to be more than whatever it is right now. So if you, you're sick, you're friends with benefits, they want a relationship. If you're just in a relationship, they want to get married. It, like, whatever it is, they want more. Um, but they hold back. Sagittarius wanting to work this out and wanting it to be better than ever i feel like it's again another sagittarius uh, sagittarius is just like scorpio they want more if it's just something light and easy they want more um they pray on it <laughs> they wish and hope for it but they won't necessarily force force it but at the very least they want to see you again they want to spend some time with you they miss you uh capricorn they don't want another capricorn hot and cold why because one of you are hell-bent on staying single and doing your own thing so one of you are is in love while the other person is like mm, i'm good i'm good aquarius. aquarius feelings for capricorn why do i feel like this aquarius plan all kind of got there yes i knew it Capricorn, listen capricorn aquarius is playing mind games um and you're not one to play with people like you'll just leave them right there and start focusing on work and other shit <laughs> oh I don't know why they're trying to think that they can get away with anything when it comes to you. But um, they also may be having a hard time circling back, even though they can't stop thinking about you. You are on their mind, but it's a hard choice because they either don't trust you um, or they may feel like they you feel like they can't be trusted. And finally, Pisces. Wait a minute. Um, they're getting a better head headspace um, over you. They do care a lot for you. They may be feeling like getting away from you or getting away from this for some time is the best thing for them to do. So they may be taking a break from this or trying to get, a, like I said, trying to get uh, away from the situation um, so they can get in a better head space. They also could be lying to you, avoid being honest, um, and they're not communicating because they don't want you to find out. They're, they're trying not to stress out that you're going to eventually find out <laughs> for air sign no i'm sorry that's what i have for earth signs now let's look at water 